Hey, this is Daniel from Adorama. I'm here in my studio in New York City with Joe McNally, and we're making some portraits, right? Yeah. So we've been here all day kind of having fun, uh, shooting various things, and we were actually setting up a, a little bit of a more complex shot, or we're, we had like an idea that you had talked about using the windows, and then we realized the light was so damn beautiful, why not just work with the windows, right? I mean, it doesn't really get better, right? I mean, they have these basically diffusers, the shears, and you've got strong directional light and a white studio. So this is like, yeah, don't don't bypass this. You know, you can oftentimes, we've both done it, we're both guilty of this, have such a direction, oh no, I'm gonna use a flash. Man, I'm, I'm gonna light this, but don't bypass this. Sure, because it it's, can be beautiful as it is, and if you see beautiful light, use it, why yeah, not? You're, exactly. not? you're not cheating, you're, you're using the, what, the tools that are around you. The one thing we did do is, if you're in this studio and you can see all the light pouring through the window, the walls over here are white and it kicks back, but you have to think about dynamic range, right? Your camera only has so much, even the new cameras, which are amazing, they only have so much dynamic range. So bringing a, a white card in, we have a V-flat right here, just to, to flatten the image out a little bit is always to your advantage. True enough, and you also have to remind yourself too that moving fast, I tend to be an aperture priority shooter. Come, I'm always on my plus or minus EV button, you know, I'm kind of playing with that. So obviously, I'm gonna be in what dimension here? I'm gonna be in the overexposed, the plus range, because all the light, you know, say she leans against this window, the light's behind her. So I'm gonna have to overcompensate exposure-wise, brighten the picture a little bit. It means I have to be careful, as Daniel just said, the V-flats are helping with dynamic range. I also have to be careful of too much blowout in the background. So I'll be checking my, uh, not only my histogram occasionally, but more often I'll be checking my highlights my, uh, to see if I have blinkies, blown out highlights. You have to be careful of that. Yeah. You know? Other than that, just work with the subject, get some beautiful shots, and you're basically done. Yeah, yeah, not too much to not like about this. Beautiful subject, beautiful light. Easy as that. Again, look out the window, play with the window. I'm just gonna move around, maybe shooting pictures fairly rapidly. So just kind of let yourself relax. Think about, you know, the beautiful light, uh, you know, whatever. You know? Think about the fact that we're almost done. <laughs> All right. Beautiful. Nice, nice, that's pretty, that's pretty. Awesome, way to go, way to go. Stay with me now, that's great look, great look, great look. Maybe just chin back towards the light just a tiny bit, nice, good, good, good. Pretty, okay, double checking. Yeah, looking nice, looking nice. Very simple, very clean. Um, here's the beautiful thing about natural light and a big swatch of it like this. If you noticed earlier, it was like, okay, the subject relative to my flash. Position, okay, careful, careful, move it around. Be very, very precise, or as precise as you can be. Here, precision, I just threw out the window. I've just got this enormous source of beautiful light, and I'm just working the heck out of it. Yeah, it's, it's now more about how it wraps around her body than, or her face than the actual amount of light, because it's pretty even wherever you are. Like, you don't have to yep. worry too much about that. And I'm also not being particularly careful um, with the set. Like, you know, if I get the V-flat in the picture, I'm working fast, I'm working wide, I'm working very casually in lots of ways. So, you know, what the heck? You know, let it happen. Now just fade into the, into the swatch of material, almost even grab the material around you a little bit. Okay. Okay. Let's try a little bit over by the uh, radiator there. Can we just move this V-flat a little bit, guys? That's nice. You know, I noticed something else, Daniel. Mm -hmm. Let's just try this for a second, if I may. So let's just grab this V-flat, if I may. Can we just put it back there, black sure. side towards me? Could you come right about here? Because I noticed actually looking at Daniel that the light on him was gorgeous. So come on in here just for a second. The light on me is often gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, nice. It's, it's on my contract. All right, beautiful. Let's just see where we are. Quick test, exposure-wise. Um, yeah, yeah. Hey, Callie? Yeah. Can we grab, do we have a try grip with us? Scott? Thank you, brother. 
Spread it out for me, brother. Silver's up? Uh, yeah, silver's good. I'd actually like you to look kind of wide-eyed, maybe, you know, yes, exactly. All right, something like that. This is more of an alert portrait, a little more regal, a little more powerful uh, presence on your part. You know, um, the background fades immediately, mm -hmm. and she's wearing black, so she fades into it. But the light that actually strikes her mm -hmm. is just sheer pretty, you know, yeah. gorgeous light. So let's see if we can get a little bit of filled dish into her. What kind of, yeah, kind of a, yeah, there we go. Good, beautiful, stay with me. And because I'm in a, a white balance setting that is giving me, um, you know, kind of a very neutral tone, I'm gonna go into something that looks more, feels more like daylight. Let me chin down, touch, there you go, good, good, nice. Very pretty. Now, both guys, can you get right on her shoulders? Um, why don't you drop your elbows, sweet, so they can come in really close to you. I'd like as your faces as close as we possibly can be. Um, now, I tell you what, rotate this shoulder back, please. That way, more, yeah, more of an angle to your body so the guys can come forward. Now slide along. There we go. Good, right in this. <laughs> we, got, we, got, we, got, we got an actor sandwich. <laughs> Dan Danielle, control yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that camera. All right, I'm skating dangerously here because I'm at 2.8 with three people. So I have to be super careful of that. Nice, way to go, way to go. Good lift there. Okay, everybody relax. Danielle, like, if I back off a little bit, I'm, I'm just thinking about you maybe wrapping, like bringing them together, like almost wrapping their arm. Yeah, exactly. Is that possible? Yeah, okay. Loop, loop, yeah, nice. Now, gonna have to come forward, Scott. Okay, Danielle, kind of, if you can, rotate again. Oh, I really like the way your shoulder is there. Yeah, that's it. All right, guys, see what you can do about creeping around to the side just a little bit. I'm not using the word creep. <laughs> They're all about creeping around. Any advice on here? Um, and Scott, you ca gotta come forward. Your, There's a lot of creeping thing. going on. Your here. eyes have to be all basically in the same depth right. of field plane. Wow. Your eyelashes have to be kind of even right across the board because we're working so close. All right, that's the aim of this, okay? Relax. So yeah, so take a look at your various expressions. I'm gonna come in even a little bit tighter now um, with, uh, with the lens and get in really tight to your faces, okay? Mm -hmm. So the idea of the open eyes, the color of your eyes, kind of that, I don't know, what, what's a, a pop culture reference that we could use here? Just, you know, um, you've, you've seen movie posters. Right, yes. just oh, yeah. kind of. Mm -hmm. There's an intensity. There's yes. an open-eyed intensity, like mm -hmm. you know, you know, in a world gone mad, three young people <laughs> stood for <No>. justice. <laughs> yeah. Justice. Good. Something along those lines. That justice. seems <laughs> right. <laughs> justice. 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 Something like that. Yeah. I'm buying it. Okay, Danielle, move your head slightly clo closer to Andreas. Just tiny bit. There you go. Good. Good look, good look. Stay with me. Okay. So that was a great idea, switching to the black. You know, putting the black binder. It was really, really interesting how it changes between this like beautiful open, uh, you know, the windows and then that same light essentially, but uh, uh, when the subject's standing in front of a black background. Yeah, I mean, the black is very absorbent. You were smart to bring out a duvetine because the foam core itself has a little bit of sheen and detail to yeah. it, right? Which gets sucked up by the duvetine. Right. Uh, you know, this is a handy thing to have in a studio too. Again, not expensive, but a swatch of this kind of, it's like a velveteen material, very light absorbent. So throw that on the background, you've got black. You go, you know, straight to D-Max, you know? So uh, having those array of beautiful faces and color of their eyes. I saw this light and I thought, well, let's just do an intense character study. Yeah, and it, it came out really nice. Sometimes 
you don't have to get complicated. Like I so said at the beginning, like we were like, let's, how can we light this? And there's like, you know what, the window, let's just use what's here. Exactly, exactly. And it's not to say you can get careless. If you notice, during the course of the shoot, you know, Daniel moved in the V-flats to kind of compress the dynamic range. I was being careful about my over and under exposure and looking at my blinking highlights to make sure I wasn't completely blowing the scene. All of that sort of stuff has to be, it's like a, a computer program running in the background. You're concentrating on gesture, you're concentrating on your subjects, but in the background it's like, okay, make sure you're not screwing this up, you know, mind your P's and Q's, check your, check your levels, all that stuff. Yeah, because like you had mentioned, the great thing about available light is that it's there, but also it's changing all the time. You know? Exactly. Even in the short time that we've been working here, sun has, uh, I don't know, 20 degrees. It's shifted right. this way. And it also changes color as it plunges into the late afternoon, changes direction. You just have to be mindful of that because if you just start saying, oh, the automatic camera is handling this fine, mm -hmm. you know, and you shoot like blazes for 500 frames and don't bother checking back with it, yeah. you know, it might not be, you know, those exactly. last 450 frames might be a little <laughs> off. A little bit, a little, a little <laughs> off, you know? yeah. So, yeah, um, so, so, yeah. Good, good lesson and quick available yeah. light. Yeah, simple and effective. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Adorama TV and we'll see you next time.